This is Rockstar 2800 with Smut Free TV, the hottest content in these internet streets. Make sure you tune in, like, comment, subscribe, get your mind right. Welcome back to Smut Free TV. It's your host, Rockstar 2800, the most hated, the most opinionated, the most underrated. You know the truth. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, like, comment, subscribe right now to this channel. Become a member. Also, follow Smut Free TV on Instagram, hop in them comments. Why? Because every comment counts. And you know we got the hottest content in these internet streets. No cap. Make sure you become a member right now. All right? Become a journeyman. Become a prodigy. Become a protege. You understand? Become part of this movement. Smut Free TV. Y'all know what it is. Locked and loaded. We're one of the hottest platforms. And we ain't stopping. We're going to keep going. You already know. So stay tuned for more reactions more vlogs more interviews stay tuned lock in right now you understand and merch is coming soon you know what it is smut free tv everything stay tuned lock in right now to this video let me know what y'all think no 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 oh yeah this rockstar right here yeah this is rockstar this is rockstar this is Hey, hey, I'm with Joe Black right now. That's the reason. That, that's the that made uh, Wax famous. Joe Black. Yeah, Joe now Black. You, now you probably don't know me as Joe Black, but I'm the nigga who, who he got at when he disrespected Nipsey a couple of years ago. I just never dropped the audio. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Yes. I know. I knew he was gonna say that. No, I forgot you was even here around the corner. That's why when you say, "Is that Rockstar?" I was like, "Oh shit, it is." Hold I'm on. To to yep, yep. He right here. Put him on speaker. Yep. He on speaker. Oh, your shit fucked up, huh? Yeah, my shit kind of fucked up. Hello? Joe Black, we hear you. We hear you. So, you said, well, so what's your other name? No, just Joe Black from High End Radio. High End Radio. So, what happened? You say. So, uh, what happened was shortly after Nip passed, I was on Twitter and I saw Boss Young Hoggy post The game is a bitch. She stole prolific. Woo, 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 woo. This is around the time that I was f***ing with Wax just on some media shit. I met him through Pooh Rider, rest in peace. Okay. And boom, I called Wax. Wax, what's going on with Hoggy talking about game so prolific? He said, Joe, I'm going to call you back. I said, you going to let me get the uh, exclusive? He said, yeah, cool. Call him. He calls me back. Hit record. Boom. What's going on with prolific and Hoggy disrespecting game? Oh, man, that's Black Sam and them. They got something going on. Hoggy don't know what he's talking about. But don't nobody give a f*** about Nipsey Hussle? I mean, like, really went in on the disrespect. And I should have stopped recording, but I didn't. So, boom. I let a snippet go to my homegirl that worked at TMZ. She, I know she's not going to share it, but she called back wanting to buy it for eight bands, the whole audio. Whoa. So I'm like, let me call Big Y. Big Y was like, Joe Black, you can do what you want, but that might cause some shit in the streets. So I turned the money down. You know, I'm, I'm from the BNC culture, and I want to see niggas live. So yeah. boom, once I told Baby I can't take the money, she typed what she heard on the audio, and the shit went viral. Whack 100 disrespects Nipsey Hussle. So he goes on Instagram. Joe Black from Skyline is the police. He recorded my phone conversation. You knew I was recording you, nigga. But since you called me the police, nigga, you know, I'm, I'm not one of these regular blogger niggas. You know what I'm saying? So I immediately contacted his people from Pacoima and said, tell blood, do not. I can be the bitch-ass blogger. I can be all that. But never, ever attach my name to the police. Yeah. Boom. He never says it again. But he goes on all these different blogs. He had the nigga Joe Black. Uh... He says, if y'all subscribe to his YouTube channel, which I was already at 20,000 subscribers, he'll drop the audio. But I only didn't drop the audio because of what Big Y said. I still have it to this day. You know what I mean? The, the nigga, I let him be him. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. But enough people heard it, the full version, to where he careful when he around some real six O's. Hey, so so y'all had a relationship prior to that audio. We had a, I met him, like I said, I met him through Pooh Rider, rest in peace. 
he came the day go, we linked up. He seen that I wasn't just a blogger, nigga. not that I'm Mr. Super Pie Rue because I put my business first. Yeah, yeah. But at okay. the end of the day, yeah, we, we was cool. Oh, for sure, for sure. Yeah, man, that's crazy. And then so after the audio, he just, y'all stopped talking. Well, well, like I said, I never dropped the audio, but he went on, you know, Jumper, uh, Nick Cannon, all the little podcast situations to clear his shit up. And that's how he got the narrative to say, all I said was Nipsey wasn't a legend. Mm. But he said way more than that. So that's where that come from? No. Based on, based on knowing that Big Y got so, Hold on, me. hold on. That Nipsey wasn't a legend, that little part, that was a, uh, it was more to that. That's Nigga, what he saying? never even said nothing about Nip being a legend on my audio. Is he didn't right? say nothing about that. Hold on. Let me so who wrote that? You said the lady from the thing wrote that, though, right? The nigga never said nothing about. He said the the, the, uh, the lady, the lady from the thing wrote that. Go ahead. This, oh, this so she... you saw the original type? No, no, because I will, we remember hearing the little like we never heard the full. All we heard was oh, he said, and we thought that was a clubhouse mm -hmm. conversation. So you said this is before. This is not even had nothing to do with clubhouse. This was right as the pandemic started. Okay. Right before the pandemic. If you go on his Instagram, you'll see Wack 100 responds to this and Nipsey Hustle. And that's me who he's talking about, Joe Black from Skyline. Mm. And I'm like, niggas don't even know me as Joe Black from Skyline. They know me as Joe Black from High End Radio. Because yeah. I left that gang shit long years ago. Yeah. Um, give me a second. Uh you still got the high end. We gotta link in. We gotta lock in. Absolutely, love one for sure. Say less. Yeah, it's all good. Sure, let me know when you want me to pull up. Sure, Give me 2.2 seconds. And I'm about to pull this audio up. Just so niggas know. Yeah, I'm on, I'm, on, I'm on there egging him on a little bit. Don't get it twisted because I see it being an exclusive. But yeah. at the end of the day, like I said, once Y said what he said, and I've known Y, you know, I grew up between here and Inglewood. Yeah. So... I've known why for some years. So hold on, you let Big Y hear it? Big Y didn't want to hear it. Because mm. he had love and respect for Nip. Mm. He just know that if I was to have released it, it might have caused some bullshit amongst the blue, the blue rags and the red rags. And I damn sure didn't want to be the cause of that. Yeah. So I turned eight bands down. No one I offered it. eight bands for the audio? Dad. Oh yeah. Easy. Oh yeah, she want she wanted it. Cause if, if had I dropped it at that time, it would have been so impactful. Oh, hold on, God. hold on, here goes Steve. Let me pull this up real quick. Oh, yeah, yeah, he God. pulling up the audio right now, bro. This oh my bad, is... we we got hot shit. We got we... <laughs> man, this shit is getting crazier. I crazy, know, bro. I man. didn't. I forgot Brought that he was moment. even here with me. All I forgot. Right, Smart free TV. Ping promise you. All man. right, um, let me let me prepare these people. Yo, Real ahead. quick, man. So y'all know this exclusive man right here, Smut Free TV. We got Joe Black from High End Radio. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he has some, uh, you know, he got the real deal audio. I guess he got the real deal audio from, you know, the whole insensitive, controversial comment that Wack had uh, made at the time Nipsey demised. Wack had made some insults towards Nipsey that, you know, the the community didn't take well. It, it still kind of carries with uh, Wack. You know, a lot of people don't like him for that very reason. His whole argument is, uh, I, I just said he wasn't a legend for music. You know what I'm saying? That's been his whole argument about the whole Nip thing. So, uh, Joe Black has official audio. That he's saying TMZ offered eight bands for. No, she personally did, not TMZ. Oh, she, did it she wanted it. Yeah. Mm. So she, so yeah, she was she was gonna pay eight bands for it, and then uh, then you got uh, 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 uh what happened? What happened with it after? She, oh, she ended up still putting it out, like writing, typing. What she heard in the audio, 
Because I guess uh, Joe Black turned the money down. So, we're about to get to this audio. He loading it up. We're about to hear it. Hey, where KK at? KK up here. Okay, my bad, my bad. I can't see on the thing right now, my bad. Yeah, that's brother, brother. Yeah, yeah I, got, I, couldn't, I, got, I couldn't see on the thing, my bad. Man, niggas up in here. What up, what up? What do you do, what do you do, bro? Uh, we got the we got the content pulling up right now. I don't know. Give me one second. Hey, and y'all, hey, y'all, my bad. Y'all, uh, y'all, my, 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 uh, my clubhouse got deleted because the bitch turned my phone off. You feel me? And I politely asked y'all to follow me. You feel me? I, I, I might be a buster to my haters. You feel me? But I'm gonna tell you right now, they won't say it to my face. I'm going to tell you that right now. They're going to do whatever they do and get on. they going to get on. They ain't going to be playing about nothing. I'm, 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 six, I'm like 6'2", like 215, 20 pounds. Come on, man. Ain't no little nigga doing that. They say spin that CD, hit play. Yeah. <laughs> they ready for y'all. No, no, I got you. I got you. It's coming right now. Yep. So, so, so y'all hear a little bit of what's going on, man. We had to stop it for a minute, give you a little intermission. You know what I mean? That was a, that was a little bit of it, just yeah. to make sure we had the right uh, audio. You know what I'm saying? How long is that audio? Uh, how long is the audio? Uh, that was two minutes and twenty three seconds. Two minutes and twenty three seconds, and then another one. Uh, then there's him speaking, saying Savvy Third don't write his rhyme. Uh, oh yeah, Savvy Third don't I'm write his rhymes. Oh, he already posted that one. What? Yep. Yeah. Damn, damn, I miss some messy shit. <laughs> how, how the f- Bring it, though, nigga. I'll be in the gym, though, nigga. I'm going to be right here know, in the morning training with the homies. Hold on, hold on. Why would he say Savvy Third on my... He say he got Ghost Riders? How does Savvy Third got Ghost Riders? Is that what he's just anyway? Then I gave... Then I did this. Hold on. Come on, come on. <laughs> First off, who we been raised, blood? Right. Had to start banging after Pyro blood. Whack nigga, can't discredit me, but I get it. You was mad and you was grabbing, trying to shit <laughs> Tell a whole lie on that whole lie. I was blowing marathon and let this whack nigga kill my body. You could at least mention my tribe. Respect in a hundred tenths of purpose and project. Joe Black from Skyline is the police. And I sat back quietly and watched this nigga for four weeks. I know Joe Black forgot my name. Joe, uh, Black something nigga. Black stuff, bro. You ran the cannon, they gonna spill your teeth. There's like an episode of the real and the topic for me. I wish it had been back. See, no question. But nah, they straight. Ain't no whack niggas in heaven. You be chasing. Uh. Okay, okay. <laughs> that nigga Joe okay. Black put a diss song out. <laughs> Listen, this is breaking news to me too, nigga. I don't know about this shit. I don't know about no diss song and shit. Oh, See, man, when it first Joe. happened, I wasn't prepared for everybody calling my phone and all the Joe Black, oh. So I kind of was like, uh, I don't do the online shit. Today I'm in a better position. Not necessarily to create some shit, but if it makes sense. Make it make sense. Yeah. Hey, but no, how long is the full audio of the whack conversation you had with? Mm. Hold on, he going he going to the whole thing. Oh, that's that's that like took twelve minutes. Yeah. Oh yeah, we about to run it. <laughs> we about to run it. Hold on. Hey, you know what's crazy? 
Hey, you, sure, you press, press, press. Drop back just... You said what? Say that again. What you say? I ain't saying nothing. Oh yeah, my bad. That was that, that was on the that was on the recording. My bad. Yeah. I get you a thousand, goddammit. Whack 100 and Nipsey Hustle. First of all, I gotta call all you motherfuckers stupid motherfuckers. But you got somebody been telling y'all five days. We're gonna release the audio. We're gonna release the audio. And for five days, ain't nobody released the audio. Second of all, it's a motherfucker named Joe Black. From San Diego. I believe from Skyline Palmer. Right? This nigga's the police. Tell you why the police. Somebody call your phone and say, Whack, I'm gonna have a conversation with you. What's up, homie? You know, what's your personal opinion on this, this, that, and other? You think you talking to this man one-on-one -on, -one on the phone about your personal opinion, you and this man, right? Because he called you. I think we all can relate to this shit. Somebody call your phone and say, hey, now, if you go to the Nick Cannon interview, he clearly says, during the interview, Joe Black asked me, woofy woo woofy woo I, I wish I would have known how many niggas whose phone conversations he recorded illegally. Yeah, after that, yeah, he was. He after that, he took he took that he took that play and ran with it. I'm about to say about that. Business. That's about to say he probably learned that from Joe. Yeah, Black. no, that's why I said the personality. The personality of it after that, there was no personality for him. You feel me? So after that, he was able to run a uh, run run his interviews and respond and talk because, about because, because of, Big Y trust Big Y told me if that's what you want to do is drop it, Joe Black, but it might cause some bullshit amongst the bees and the seeds. I took yeah. it upon myself. So you just played this little thing. inserts and clips. So you didn't play the full. It's, yeah, it's you way know, more disrespectful than that, right? You no, know, you got to play the full the full thing. I will. So let me get to the crib. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, we can talk on the three way. Okay. As long as it's just me and him. Yeah, you know. Yeah, no, yeah. Okay. Cut, I don't wanna, cut I don't wanna Yeah, yeah. You know, that. you know, you know, you know what's going on. Don't you don't want to play that <laughs> You know what is going on. That I can't shit. believe he just hey, 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 hold on. Tell that nigga jump. Is it that bad? He said, is it that bad? It's bad enough to where it was too soon. And it's shit that you didn't want to repeat. You wanted to change the narrative to say, I just said he wasn't a legend. Basically, he was saying that Nip got what he asked for. He started it. He caused it. I don't give a fuck about Nipsey Hussle. That real, that Eric Holder was a real gangbanger. And Nipsey was just a rapper. I'm, 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 I'm gonna let you get into it. Oh no, 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 we running it again. We running it again. We running it again. All, all the way from the top. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a room on it. Nah, and you, you got to come from your account. Yeah, yeah. Tell them nigga pull up, man. Yep, yep. We gonna, we gonna set that up. We gonna set that up. I'm already on it. I'm already on it. Uh, at least we got that little. Uh, you feel me? Don't forget, but Boy, this shit crazy, man. I learn something new every day. He said every day. Hey, I can't believe that, though. I forgot to tell you. I forgot to tell you I was Every there. day, man. Something new. On I club forgot house. to tell you we had content. That's crazy. <sighs> man. Exclusive. Smut Free TV will have the exclusive. For sure, for 